Good to see you, Hunter. Today is the big day. The Hunter Classic is finally completely free to play. And I'm already earning money. I shot a few snowshoe hares and I got the money for them. Like I mentioned in my previous video, the CSS value defines how much money you get. And I earned 39 and 29 gems. And also the store has been updated so we can now estimate how much is that actually worth. So the 39 and 29 gems that I earned makes up 68 and that is exactly the cost of a box of ammo. Most ammo costs 68 gems. Well, surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? So one of the biggest questions has been answered. We now know the prices for the ammo. We also know the prices of all the other items. So let's talk a little bit about this. Let's see what this all costs, what it takes for you to play this game. The game is now truly free to play. It doesn't take a big effort for you to keep it going. If you shoot animals, if you com uh, complete missions, you will get all the money that you need. I am back at my two towers here in Whiteheart Island for a good reason. I believe that hunting turkeys can get you quite a bit of gems. The best turkey would be around 70, 72 points and that would get you 140 gems. There's more males coming. What you need to know is the animal really needs to have a score otherwise you won't get anything. The turkey hens have no beard, no spurs, that would define the score. So they all score zero, which means they all get you nothing. And that is actually really only the turkey hens and all the deer females, because they have no antlers except the reindeer. Female reindeer will get you CSS, uh, so you can earn gems with those, but not with any other deer females and not with the turkey hens. What you also need to know is if you shoot certain animals on the ground, you get zero uh, CSS. You still get a score, for example, for a pheasant that you shoot on the ground. Uh, so if the pheasant scored 22, it's going to say 22.123 G for ground. It needs to be air shot. It needs to be an A score for it to get you a CSS. So all pheasants shot on the ground will get you zero CSS and thus zero gems. Same is true for all the ducks, all the geese, and all the ptarmigans. The only bird you can shoot on the ground is the turkey. This is Whiteheart Island, the upper part of the island, or of the map, the North Island. This is this lake, very distinctive, you will find the place easily. One tower is here, this is where I'm at right now. I'm starting over here at this tent, because this is a bit on the side there. As you walk over there, you don't uh, mess up with the spawning. So you get turkeys here, you get uh, black tails, Roosevelt elk, sometimes coyotes as well. Um, so put the tent over here, walk over here, and then you have turkeys coming left and right, as you can see. The other place is up here, we will go there later. So let's keep calling them in here. The tower, by the way, this tower costs 7,140. That is actually less than what you get when you go through a complete set of missions for one animal. You get 10,000 gems for completing a set of missions for most mission sets. I never really paid attention to these values, but now that I added them up, uh, it's funny. It adds up to exactly 10,000. Some initial animals like elk and whitetail have a bit more. They have more missions to them you will find different values at times. But in general, this is what you would be getting. Right now I'm using this weapon that has uh, 10 bolts per box. So this would cost about seven gems per arrow. Now, of course, if you take the shotgun, this gives you 30 shots. So every shot is only a third of the price. With the disadvantage that, of course, once I start shooting here, everything's gonna run. But it looks like there's only hens coming. 
So let's just for the fun of it uh, have these turkeys shot with bird shot. Alright. <laughs> so one I missed. So let's have a look here. So the maximum score of a turkey is 72. Let's analyze this bird here. So this is scoring 44. Uh, so that's above average. And you, as you can see, I'm getting 69 gems. That's a box of ammo. <laughs> so one bird got me the box of ammo. How about this one here? Even better, 102. But then of course, I have to consider the misses and also the hens that wouldn't give me any money. I still believe turkey, turkey hunting is a good way to get your gems. Also because it's fun and you can get a lot of them in a short time. I'm gonna move over to the other tower. Hopefully the rain's gonna stop. We have arrived here at the second tower and the rain has stopped. And there's a coyote coming in. Well, I called him in because I wanted to show you something. Coyotes will earn you 140 if you shoot a max coyote. And you can shoot it with the 243. That would be this one. Which is free. Not only the weapon, but also the ammo. You will see in the store, it has a price, but you cannot really buy it. The 243 ammo will continue to replenish every time you start a hunt. And I'm using the scope that's also free. Thank you for greeting and I'm greeting back with the rifle. <laughs> now with the non-zoomable scope, uh, they run the coyotes. Oh well, it was worth a try. This was a female, not a big one. So I would I would think this is a below average earning that we have here. No, it was a male actually. 20 kilograms, 54 CSS for this one. Just started a new hunt, came to this tower. We got a coyote, we got a black tail. More up here. And we got turkeys. They should answer right now. Back there. So all in all, this is a good tower because we can shoot turkeys and coyotes that can give us a maximum of 140 uh, if the score is top. Ah, there they are. That's a bit from a different direction though. There's more turkeys coming. And we've got black tailed deer and white tailed deer in this area. Now this is a small one. You can see the score 95 at most. That's like half of what you could really get. Uh, maybe there's more bucks in here. And the good news is a top black tail would give you 120. So um, white tails, black tails in the area would give you 120. And Roosevelt elk, if you shoot the maximum bull, is 95. So of course, this is, these are always the maximum numbers. And in average, you would probably get half of this. But you have to go by the max values in order to understand which animals are really lucrative to hunt. Of course, waterfowl cannot be missing on our list for how to grind a lot of animals, how to get a lot of gems. It is very easy to shoot a lot of geese, a lot of ducks, but there is certainly an initial investment that you need to do in order to get a lot of them come down so you can shoot them. If you plan to do some waterfowling, I definitely recommend the 10 gauge lever action shotgun. It is the biggest caliber that you can get for shotguns and it is perfect for all waterfowl, be it geese, be it ducks. You can really shoot them from far. With this shotgun, you can load six cartridges at a time. 
the loading animation is a bit slower than with the other shotguns, but still, this weapon is great for waterfowling. Waterfowl will circle around, will fly over your head, and you need to call them down in order so you can shoot them. Uh, for the geese, you have this flagler, very simple to use. You just keep the mouse clicked and it'll keep waving. A bit more difficult is the long range caller, but still very effective. You just need to keep clicking and you will keep calling with this caller. And then the short range caller, also very recommended. Once they come down, you can lure them over to you. You will be sitting in your waterfall blind in order to be protected so that the geese cannot see you well. In this case, I'm hunting in Hirschfelden and I'm using fall field camouflage in order to increase my concealment. These are goose decoys, 24 of them will have the maximum effect on geese. And this is set waterfowl blind. So sitting in the blind, using the lures and also using the decoys on the ground will increase your chances for the waterfowl to come down. Now of course all of this is going to cost money, it's going to cost gems. I recommend to do at least the following, you might already have a shotgun. So maybe you want to wait for this shotgun for the moment. At least get the flagler or the long range collar. It's got the same cost. Then the short range collar. And the waterfall blind. You can uh, leave the decoys away for now. You may also try with just normal clothes. This will work. You will just get a, a bit less geese in total, but you will get geese for sure. And the total of the two lures and the waterfowl is 13,600. So that means you would have to shoot 680 geese. Now you will say this is a heck of a lot of geese, but I can tell you once you get the, uh, the hang of this, A, it is fun and B, you will shoot them in a week. All right, here come the geese. Remember, they are large birds, so they are a bit harder to shoot. <laughs> Just lure them over nicely to you. Let them sink down as low as possible. And this one is too far out. But there you go, there lies our money on the ground, ready to collect. So I thought the average CSS that we would be getting would be 20, because the maximum is 40. And if we pick this one up, 4.1 kilogram is small, that would be 10.0 CSS. These numbers are rounded. There are no decimals for gems, but the numbers for a CSS are rounded up or down. This one here, also a small one, also below 20 certainly. 13, 3.3 would be rounded down. If you shoot one at six or seven kilogram and male, that would be 25 or 30 gems. Now, of course, there's a question, what is easier to do? What is better to do? Should we hunt ducks or should we hunt geese? Now, of course, the ducks are easier to shoot. They are a lot smaller and even bad shots will still kill a lot of ducks. You will definitely shoot more ducks in an hour uh, then you shoot geese. However, the initial investment will be larger because there's more different species, more different ducks. There's four types of them and you will need more different colors, also more different decoys if you want to invest into those. So it's a balance. Yes, you can do a bit more investment, start duck hunting and then also shoot more ducks. And look what I just got from the store. It's the 10 year anniversary t-shirt. Happy anniversary, the Hunter Classic. You've been a great game for 10 years or at least for eight years I've been enjoying this. So hopefully you can enjoy this as well now that it is fully free to play. And now it is your turn. Please let me know what you think about the new business model, about this free to play mode where you can buy everything with gems. Please leave a comment below. Until then, thank you very much. Stay in touch.